I guess if you're a JP Morgan rates trader and you're you're grumbling, you should be thankful it's only down five percent, right, Alison? Sure, because overall FIC revenue is going to be down, you know, probably more like eight percent, and rates trading, which is the biggest piece of that revenue, uh, down a bit worse. But we should mention that the comps are pretty special for JPM because the bonuses were up twenty percent last year. Correct. JP Morgan had a great year last year. Uh, they and Citigroup are the biggest in this business. Uh, they do a great job, but to some extent, it is going to depend on the environment. And as Marianne Lake pointed out, has not been a good environment, especially on the macro side of things this year. What about the outlook in general, Alison, for the investment banks in 2018? What have we got to be keeping an eye on? So, I in terms of the overall outlook, uh, GDP growth is still pretty good, and so that's really the bottom line driver for the investment banks. But for trading, you really need volatility, and we haven't had that this year. So across asset classes, we've seen some historical lows. Equities, uh, very weak uh, on the rate side, very weak after a very strong year. Last year, uh, the credit and securitization business is actually doing a little bit better. Um, but what we're really going to need next year is uh, some volatility to pick up in trading. The banking fees actually have been very good because they actually benefit from lower volatility. And we've had very strong asset price uh, movement. So that's been very good for the banks this year. I just have the move index here up on my Bloomberg. And if you want to take it, you can see just how much volatility has gone down in Treasury trading over the course of the year. Now, I do want to ask you about the European banks, because as bad as traders at U.S. banks think they have it, European banks may see some donuts. Well, I think the European banks have been, you know, sort of further behind in terms of restructuring. Uh, the good news is someone like Credit Suisse, they're calling this sort of their final restructuring year 2018. At Deutsche Bank, things have not been as well. They've been really trying to recover and get some traction uh, following sort of the legal issues that they had and settled around this time last year. But I would say, you know, one of the positive things, uh, you know, we're talking about it, sort of a lot of the pressures with FIC, but if we looked at third quarter, fixed income headcount was actually flat year over year and that's the first time that's happened in six years we've seen nothing but declines and a lot of that stabilization stabilization is because the Europeans are done with their restructuring programs. our thanks to Alison Williams of Bloomberg Intelligence